Good morning. Um, today I want to show you everything or uh, everything I know all about mu multiplying objects or making from one object many or copying objects or instancing objects, how you, how you want to name it. So uh, first and very easy way to, to make uh, copy one object is of course the old known copy, control C and control V uh, objects like copy and pasting. So you have then two objects. You can do the same also in the uh, outliner here. You can go there, copy one object and paste, and then you have the, the copy at the exact same place where you copied the object. I can delete this ones maybe first to clean. Uh, another much easier way is um, to duplicate the object. This is like uh, similar to copy paste, but at the, um, when you duplicate object with doing with shift D, you have already you go already in the move mode so usually then you don't need the second step to grab copy paste and grab the object and do something um, probably you know also like if you duplicate one object if you go into the grab mode uh, you can already give an axis like x axis and tell also how far it should go in this uh, in this axis like a tree and then it goes three units in the x direction uh, and similar way but uh, at, uh, where, uh, by connecting the original object and um, the copy of it is not Shift D but Alt D. If you do Alt D, and let's do it also in the X, X direction, the copy and object are linked to each other. It's a linked copy of it uh, that you, if you go to the um, edit mode and change the object like with this, the both copies are connected to each other that uh, in uh, in their mesh information. So you can um, do many copies of an object, I mean linked copies of an object, if you can see here, that they become um, so linked that you, if you want to change later the shape of one, and you say like uh, maybe it is not uh, in the right shape, then you can change all of these linked copies at once. So this is the alt and or linked, linked duplicate, duplicate linked version of it. Let's close them again. Um, you can delete with X the objects, but you can also delete them with the delete key then it, you don't need to um, you don't need to uh, uh, confirm the deleting the object um, another nice trick here is um, if you duplicate an object and you want to put it in a uh, you want to do multiple duplications in same um, in the same um, distance to each other. So if I brought it here and you want to repeat this copy from here on, then all you need to do is shift and R. This will repeat the last comment and duplicating comment will repeat it. And then you can do as many repetitions of this copying um, object copying. Uh, remember the shift D is um, you can use for every kind of action um, which you want to repeat. You can uh, repeat different actions, like uh, you can. You could also mm, do the same. Uh, this is hard to say here with the rotation, but like if we will have here a cube, and I want to rotate this cube several times, like maybe I'm making an uh, animation, and I will rotate it R, Z, and let's say 10 degrees, and if I do now Shift R, every time it will rotate 10 degrees. So it's a useful command for everything. Let's delete this ones. And these are all those linked copies. Uh, let's select them all and delete them as well. This also delete this as well. So these are the all the copy paste and duplicate actions in which we can have. Another another way of multiplying the objects or copying the objects in a in a, in a way is. Uh, to instancing them in a uh, very old fashion of Blender. This this um, this uh, function is long has long been available, but um, less people use it. Uh, you go here to to the your object properties, and there is a, some a tab called instancing. So if you go to, there to vertices, first it doesn't happen anything. But if you then make your uh, one object apparent. Uh, or child to another object which has this instancing then it becomes in this in this space where it has been 
uh, so the um, the child is instanced on the parents' edges, but it's on 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 its same place. So the the child object stays there, but uh, it becomes instanced on an object of the parent, on a copy of the object uh, of the parent, uh, on its all vertices. So if I go here the, to to edit mode and move, so we can see. So, but it is very confusing because in order that to 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 this to function, they should be in the same place. So also the 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 child must be on the on the origin. So let's select the child in the origin and bring it also to there. It doesn't happen because it is um, it is already there. So I have to move it. So it is pretty confusing. Um, I will, if you want to use this option, then you have to really uh, be parented clear parenting and then put them both in the world origin and then really again parent it down here and do it in this way and still the sphere the origin is visible you have to make it invisible again and uh, then play with the parent object in order to to make this copying it is it is useful but like you there are several things which can be um, irritating and 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 hinder really proper way of working Third way to copy the objects is the old array uh, array function. So it is a it works this way. So you go there and have a, again a, um, a, a here this array modifier. Select this array modifier. It's already copied, and you can you can um, choose the how far the instances are from each other. You can do it with a regular relative offset from each other. Or you can do a constant offset. Let's close this. A constant offset of one meter or or more. So in in the relative offset, uh, this is the factor depending on the size of each object. So in my case, so if I go to here, uh, sorry. So let's do it all zero and just like go in the x direction. Uh, it is one object next to each other in the all object size. So in this in this way, they are barely touching each other there because one starts at the end of the other but in the constant offset you have a measure measure of it so in this case if you have the relative offset and you go to the edit mode and change the, the distance between objects will change as well depending on their size so it is this is basically um the the size here on the on the dimension of the of the object depending on this and um, the array modifier has also one uh, with, with fit curve option. Uh, for this, we have to find also a curve. Uh, here I have my curves, a simple curve I want. So, where's my curve? Ah, oh, it is, I think it is, I chose the wrong one. A curve, I want a Bezier curve, let's say. This is like this big. Choose the Bezier curve, and there the the objects are placed again on the on this curve. Mm, let's make it visible in front. Report display in front that we can see also this this one, and they are fit to the size of this um, of this curve. But it is still very irritating because you have still the relative offset in the one, direction of one, so they don't really fit the the curve. Um, you can of course do that in an, another modifier, which is uh, which is the curve modifier, adding to it, again having the same curve, with your curve, and then um, in a way they will rise um, up on the on the curve, instanced on the length of the curve, so on. So this is still uh, what we used until geometry nodes come out. Let's go to the geometry nodes. I will just for now skip the particle part. You go to geometry nodes. It is pretty easy to do this job in geometry nodes. You go here, um, make a new geometry node setting for this, and now you can again take another curve object. Well, let's make it a little bit bigger here. You, I will make another curve object here, and in my geometry node setting, I will take this curve as as an input 
as an input object info and the pipet I will select it and I will take the instance on point node so basically do it here now not connecting it yet let's put it here as well so this is the object info which gives us the points and uh, the instance geometry is the ball let's put it here and connect it here so I have this input of where the point where to put them and what to put them where to put them is the points and all the what to put them or the what to copy is the instances so in this case if I will change the shape then it will also instance there um, and I can put wherever I want to put the, the parents I can put them also in, inside the uh, not the parent but the, the curve where they should be instanced um, and think so in the relative yeah if you take the relative then you can have also here put them exactly on the points and if I copy and put them points you can have it like this on every point you will have one and even more if you go and make a um, make resample of this curve this is by curve here and operations and resample the curve then you will make it like a count or you can make like a length of it so every every second uh, half meter of the curve you can put new point and on this new point there is a new ball and yeah i think i, I had this length here um evaluated i am not sure what it makes but it seems like to make a rig in on regular uh, stances and count is like you make really out from the all the curve 10 new points so it is probably mixing a little bit but like here five here five you have these five points of course i think that you have the, also the sample curve node the sample curve node is um if you have here you can get the uh, the number of the curve so but you should take the resample one sample curve just gives you a lot of information about it which you can also use for for different operations but here is the important one is the resample curve so this is the geometry uh, nodes option how to copy objects and the fifth one now here i come to the four but the fifth one is um, multiplying an object with particles um, in order to do this we need first a particle simulation i will make a very simple one out of a plane and at here a particle simulation and just very regular one and now they have like this physics and they are falling down with gravity but if you don't want this you can turn it off and then they stay on the surface of the object in a random way and i think somewhere here you can uh, um, make a yeah here grid distribution and now you have like here uh, they are distributed on the grid and now we have like this uh, white placeholders which are called halos halos or halos halos here this uh, and instead of this halos you can put select an object and and the object our object is of course our sphere 001 and in this way you can like really go and it's it goes through and yeah and then starts again so this is just the movement because it's the creation step is like this uh you can do also also like hex hexagonal grid um but they're on the on the grid so and you have to put the random also to zero so in this way you have you have this ones um and yeah, well, the, if I will make it um, live longer, what happens? Well, let's make it here. Horizontal divide. And a timeline. So this is how they go it. But I want them to, let's say, they start all in one and they live, let's say, uh, 250. And now you have like all of them are here and they stay also. This is also another way to to copy objects. Although this is just like um, just a plane, 
on, on, the, on the surface of the plane. Of course, you can do the same if you will take a sphere and let's copy this, um, this particle system here. This is very easy. You select the sphere, shift click. Let's see, shift click so you don't see my screen curve. So it's just a little bit here. Screencast, I have to restart it. There's a bug. So I select the sphere, I select the object with the particles and control L and you copy you copy the modifiers because the particle information is uh, saved on modifiers. So in this way, you have here the sphere with the uh, with the particles with the same same system, same uh, same instances. So now they, these are these um, three ways of uh, five, or I think it's, it's more than five ways um, of how to copy and multiply objects in in different scales. Um, there is also um, like a, a trick is um, if you have one object in one scene but you want to copy it or instance it in another scene um, what you do is uh, let's do it in this way um, I think let's do it again a full copy of it uh, uh, sorry not full copy but like I'm making an empty scene, new empty scene here. And here in this empty spin, uh, scene, I have to want uh, another object from the, uh, for another scene. Uh, for this, I go here and open the scenes view in my outliner. And so you see all the objects in all the scenes are here. And this is my recent scene is the scene. And let's say I want, um, I want this object to be here, just like, Drag and drop here. Uh, here, drag and drop in the same collection. And I have now here the same object from the from another scene. Uh, you don't, it's hard to see because the, there's, there are no lights at the moment, but like, let's go here. Yeah, you have the, my particle object here. I just drag and dropped. And uh, you have to notice that it has the same name. If you have an object with the same name, it is the same object. So therefore, Blender, if you copy an object, creates these zeros um, at the automatical names and the copy of the object with a, um, a three-digit number in running order. But if, I have, if they have the same name, then they are the same object. So if I will scale this object, and the original object is here in the particle scene, and I go there, it is also scaled. So if I will scale this down and go to the other scene, it's also scaled down. If I would play here with the, if I would um, play with this particle settings here, so let's say we do half of them. And if I go back to my, this scene, uh, it is not updated. Okay. If I would, uh, Wait, yes, it's not updated because I have to go back, but it is like here, um, the, let's go to the zero and here to the zero, it is the same. So it was just like the, because my, um, the scene doesn't update the timeline information. So if I go back to other scene, you see the time code or time, um, time thing is not there, but here. So this is the way to have to copy one object other without without changing the same object so are, you have an instance of one object in another scene but it stays same object yeah these are simply the ways of different ways of copying objects um i hope you enjoyed the, the tutorial and see you next time